Hi, I'm Senator Kirsten Gillibrand from New York. I'm pleased to be here today to answer some questions from grist.org on climate change legislation. The first question asks, do other senators share your support for EPA Clean Air Act authority? Will it survive the coming negotiations? Absolutely. Other senators do share my view on this issue. Uh, but for a number of the senators who don't serve on the EPW committee, they haven't been as engaged yet on this discussion, which is why they need to hear from constituents like you so that they know how important it is that they preserve the Clean Air Act. These protections, as you know, are critical to New York because we are the ones that suffer from a lot of the air pollution that comes across the country from coal-fired plants. We suffer from acid rain. We suffer, uh, particularly in the Adirondacks, increasing contamination in all of our rivers and streams. In New York, you can only eat one fish a month because of the high uh, mercury content in our waters. And we also have a growing asthma rate throughout our state. So for me, this is a critical issue that I will continue to fight for. Second question, how are you working to persuade your Senate colleagues to support the creation of a carbon market involving many financial instruments? I'm very concerned that we make sure we have a robust financial market that will fuel investments in carbon reductions. I think it's very important that we have proper oversight and accountability, good regulations that provide transparency, and also capital requirements. I think this uh, kind of regulation will be a derivative market that will be regulated through the CFTC. And I think it's critical that we uh, regulate this alongside the other derivatives legislation that we're going to do. We want to make sure that capital is available for investing in clean energy generation like large scale wind and solar projects. So we have to make sure that we have the kinds of products that are necessary to do this. Uh, I've been ad advocating for both standardized products and customized products with oversight and accountability and capital requirements for both. Third, what type of measures would you like added to the climate change bill to serve the interests of farmers? Well, I think farmers can play a very important part in this climate change bill. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, the agriculture section can achieve the overall parts of the bill, or the overall goals of the bill, which is to make sure there's verifiable reductions in carbon emissions. Uh, but there are so many opportunities for our farmers, whether they're going to be part of wind energy or solar energy, or whether they're going to be part of anaerobic digesters and cellulosic ethanol. They have a lot of opportunity to be part of the climate change bill and, and do those offsets by things they can create uh, throughout agriculture. We also want to make sure that our farmers have the resources and technical assistance available for smaller projects uh, and for working with aggregators who can connect, for example, multiple dairy farms for a large methane digester project or make the project uh, not just achieve reductions but also be economically feasible for those farms who are participating. So there's a lot of opportunity out there and I just want to make sure our farmers have a voice in this climate change bill. Fourth question. Which Senate Republicans do you think will support climate change legislation? Well, I, I really think this issue is not about Democrats or Republicans. I think climate change is not going to wait for anybody. So we need to bring colleagues together to actually achieve results. I think Senator Graham, uh, Senator McCain have both spoken out in favor of climate change in the past. And I'm hopeful that they will join us in our efforts. Uh, but the bottom line is, as Chairman Boxer said, that this is something we all have to care about. It's the future of our country, it's our national security, it's our economic strength, and it's the one thing that's going to turn around global climate change. So I think we'll have a lot of, of allies in this, and uh, my goal is that uh, for all Americans, we need to support these kinds of efforts to achieve energy independence, grow green jobs in a, in a clean economy, and stop all of the threats of global climate change. I want to thank Grist.org for giving me the opportunity to discuss these very important issues. The Clean Energy Jobs and American Power Act will lead to long-term economic prosperity, energy security, and the protection of our environment for generations to come.